Shalom Israel. Captain OC. Officer Daniel. All right. Today's class is called Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. That's right. We ain't talking about the movie. I ain't never even seen the movie, but I wanted to mix up the title. So today's title is called Shawshank Redemption, and we're dealing with the words redemption and redeemed. Because a lot of people think that all nations and all people are going to be redeemed and, and or receive redemption. So we're going to go into the scriptures and see if that's true. But before we get there, let's get the definition of those two words. What we got first? Uh, redemption. Read that. The action of saving. The what? The action of saving uh -huh. or being saved from sin. Okay. So the action of being saved, that's redemption. Now let's get redeemed. Redeem. Save from sin. Mm -hmm. Error or evil. So. Both definitions, they both surround themselves around being saved. All right. The other one, it goes into uh, redeeming or regaining possession of, so on and so forth. It means the same thing. We're going to deal with the save part. All right. So let's get into it. But to understand this topic, you got to understand, first off, who did the Most High always save in the past? If you know that, then that sets the precedent for what happens in the future, correct? Let's get that. Deuteronomy 33 and 29. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33 and verse 29. Uh -huh. Happy art thou, O Israel, uh -huh. who is like unto thee, uh -huh. O people, saved by the Lord. So Israel is the people that are saved by the Lord. Read. The shield of thy health, and who is the who is the sword of thy excellency uh -huh. and thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee uh -huh. and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Second Kings chapter 14 in verse 26 and 27. So the first scripture says Israel happy out thou O Israel who is saved of the Lord. Read that. The book of second Kings chapter 14 verse 26. Uh -huh. For the Lord saw the affliction of Israel uh -huh. that it was very bitter. Read. For there was not any shut up, uh -huh. nor any left, uh -huh. nor any helper for Israel. Read. And the Lord said not that he would blot out the name of Israel from under heaven. Uh -huh. But he saved them. But he what? But he saved them. Read. By the hand of Jeroboam, the son of Joash. Second time we read that he saved the nation of Israel. Give me the rest of Esther in the Apocrypha. Chapter 10 and verse 9. The rest of Esther, chapter 10 and verse 9. That's the first chapter. Yep. Verse 9. Rest of Esther, chapter 10 and verse 9. Uh -huh. And my nation is this Israel, uh -huh. which cried to God and were saved. And were what? And were saved. Read. For the Lord had saved his people, and the Lord had delivered us from all those evils. And God have wrought signs and great wonders, mm. which have not been done among the Gentiles. Which what? Which have not been done among the Gentiles. Now that should be easy. I'm pretty sure he ain't going to change that. That sounds pretty glorious. Let's go to First Chronicles chapter 17 and verse 21. So we got who he saved. Maybe save and redemption don't mean the same thing. Let's see. Who did he redeem in times past? Read that. First Chronicles chapter 17 and verse 21. Uh -huh. And what nation in the earth is like thy people, Israel, uh -huh. whom God went to the redeem to be his own people? Who God went to what? Who God went to redeem to be his own people. Who God went to redeem his own people. Israel. From there, go to Psalms chapter 130 and verse 8. So we're seeing a, a steady theme. Redemption and Savior is for Israel. I'm sorry. That's what the Bible says. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 130 and verse 8. Uh -huh. And he shall redeem Israel uh -huh. from all his iniquities. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 48 and verse 17. So we're seeing a very, very uh, similar theme. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 48. Verse 17. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer. Thy what? Thy Redeemer. Read. The Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, uh -huh. which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. So, he redeems Israel. He redeems Israel. Does God change? Because I know what a lot of you Christians are saying right now. Why is he only reading out of the Old Testament? Out of the Old Testament. We're going to get to the New Testament. Let's see, does God change? Let's go to Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. And then we're going to get into it. 
We're going to go to the glorious letters of Paul. I know you've been waiting. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For I am the Lord. I change not. I what? I change not. So, he says, I am the Lord. I change not. Read. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Therefore, the sons of Jacob are not consumed. So, the Lord doesn't change. But now everybody reads John 3.16. They think it's talking about everybody. Let's get the understanding. Let's go to the first one. Let's go to the book of Galatians, chapter 3 and verse 13. This is you uh, Sunday Christians, one of your favorite scriptures. And you try to bring everybody into the fold. Everybody is not in the fold read that the book of galatians chapter 3 and verse 13 uh -huh. christ had redeemed us christ have what christ had redeemed us has redeemed us israel from the curse of the law uh-huh being made a curse for us uh-huh for it is written curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree so christ has redeemed us us what that word uh, that's a possessive word right from the curse of the law who was under the curse of the law? Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 27 and let's read verse 1 first. This is what y'all don't understand. You read, he redeemed us from the curse of the law and you think it's talking about everybody. Who was under the curse of the law? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And Moses with the elders of Israel uh -huh. commanded the people saying, keep all the commandments which I command you this day. Read. So, Israel. He was speaking to Israel. Jump down to verse 26. Same chapter. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 26. Uh -huh. Cursed be he that confirmeth not all the words of this law uh -huh. to do them. And all the people shall say amen. And all the people shall say amen. So what? The curses were dealing with who? The Israelites. So it say he redeemed us under the curse of the law. He's talking to Israel. Further proof. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 27. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 27 and verse 28. The book of Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 27. Uh-huh. Thy first father had sinned. Read. And thy teachers have transgressed against me. Read. Therefore, I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary. Uh -huh. And have given Jacob to the curse. And what? And, and have given Jacob to to the curse. And he has given Jacob to the curse. Read. And Israel to reproaches. And Israel to the reproaches. So who needed to be saved or redeemed under the curse of the law? The Israelites. Go to Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11. Because the curses are not on everybody. So when he says he redeemed us under the curse, who is he speaking about? The same people that he was speaking to in the Old Testament. The nation of Israel, southern kingdom and northern kingdom. Read that. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Yea, all Israel had transgressed thy law, uh -huh. even by departing, Read. that they might not obey thy voice. Read. Therefore, the curse. Therefore, what? Therefore, the curse. The curse. Read. Is poured upon us. Upon what? Upon us. That same us. The us is who? Israel. Now, from there, go to the book of Galatians, chapter 4 and verse 5. So we smashed that one. Who was under the curse of the law? Israel. Israel was under the curse of the law. Israel had the curses poured upon them. All right, read that. The book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 5. Uh -huh. To redeem. To what? To redeem. What did we say redeem it? Save. Read. Them that were under the law. That were what? That were under the law. Read. That we might receive the adoption of sons. Mm. So it says you're going to redeem them that were under the law. And that they have the adoption to be sons. Let's go to Romans chapter 9 and verse 4. Let's hit both of those at the same time. This is why the Bible says what? Precept upon precept, line upon line. The Bible is only to one nation of people. Read that. The book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Read. To whom pertaineth the adoption. The what? The adoption. The adoption is to the Israelites. Read. And the glory uh -huh. and the covenant Read. and the giving of the law and the what? And the giving of the law. Who was he speaking to? The Israelites. He's speaking to the Israelites. Read. And the service of God and the promises. And the promises. So who was redeemed under the law? The Israelites. Now, from there, let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 9 and verse 15. We're hitting a few of these. We're hitting a few of these right now for you. 
So if you're getting mad, don't get mad. It's the scriptures. Accept the scriptures. What did Matthew 11 say? It says, blessed is he that is not offended in me. Read that. No, yep. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 15. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 15. Uh-huh. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. Uh-huh. That by means of death. Read. For the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. Uh-huh. They which are called might receive the promises, promise of eternal inheritance. So let's read that again. Let's read it slow. Read it again. And for this cause. And for this cause. He is the mediator of the New Testament. Christ is the mediator of the New Testament, meaning he's the new high priest. Read. By that by means of death. Because he died himself. Read. For the redemption. For the saving. Read. Of the transgression. Of the sins. That were under the first testament. The people that sinned under the first testament were who? We just read it. Give me Psalms 147 and verse 19 real quick. Who sinned under the first testament? We just read in Daniel 9 11. All Israel have sinned, therefore the curses have fell upon them. But let's get it. Who was under that first testament? The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Uh-huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. Unto who? Unto Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Read. He had not dealt so with any nation. He had not dealt so with any nation. So no other nation has received his laws. So when it says, he is the mediator of the new covenant for the transgressions of them under the first testament. It's talking about Israel, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's go to Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 7. Let's prove it in the New Testament as well. Hebrews chapter 8 and let's start at verse 7. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 7. Uh -huh. For if that first covenant had been faultless, uh -huh. then should no place have been sought for the second. Read. For finding fault with them. Who's the them? Israel. Read. He said. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant Read. with the house of Israel. With who? With the house of Israel. Read. And with the house of Judah. Northern kingdom and southern kingdom. Because check this out. If anybody has ever signed a contract, let's say me and you agree to a contract. I sell your mortgage. Your mortgage is for 200000 I say, you know what? You, you can't make this mortgage. Let's redo it. We'll do it at 150000 how can I add him into your contract? You see that? That's what y'all, y'all don't make no sense with that. The agreement, the testament, the contract was with this man, not with all other nations. All right. Keep reading though. Verse nine. Uh-huh. Not according to the covenant that I made with their father. Uh-huh. In the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Read. Because they continue not in my covenant and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Read. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, Read. saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind, uh -huh. and I will and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. That's so simple. That's so simple, ladies and gentlemen. The new covenant, the redemption... The redeeming is for Israel as it always has been. Galatians, I mean, Colossians chapter 1 and verse 14. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 14. So we pray you understand in this. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 14. The book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. In whom we have redemption through his blood, uh -huh. even the forgiveness of sins. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sins. Who is this speaking about? Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. Who is the redemption for? Who is the saving? Because what do we say redemption means? It means to be saved, right? Yes. Let's see. In the New Testament, who is supposed to be saved? Read that. The book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Him had God exalted with his right hand to be a prince uh -huh. and a savior. And a savior. Read. For to give repentance to Israel uh -huh. and forgiveness of sins. Now read that in Colossians 1 and 14 again. It says that he was going to give forgiveness of sins to Israel. Did it not? Yes, sir. Read that. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Uh -huh. Even the forgiveness of sins. Even the forgiveness of sins. That forgiveness of sins was only for Israel. Now let's go to the book of Luke chapter 24 and verse 18. This is the last scripture. We're going to put the nail in the coffin because now we're going to get the context of 
What was the mindset of the people when Christ was walking the earth con pertaining to redemption? Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 24 and verse 18. Uh-huh. And the one of them whose name was Cleopas, uh -huh. answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast known the things which are come to pass there in these days? So he was saying, he was, he was actually speaking to Christ. He didn't know it was Christ. Christ had come back, and he, he, um, he changed his image so people wouldn't know who he was for this time period. And he said, hey, you ain't heard what happened in these last days? What just happened? Because Christ had just been uh, crucified. Read. And he said unto them, what things? He, he, he's playing dumb. He's like, what things are you speaking about? Read. And they said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth. Concerning who? Jesus of Nazareth. Read. Which was a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people. Read. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. That's also a cut showing you it wasn't everybody that wanted Christ killed. Read. But we trusted that it had been he which have redeemed Israel. Read that again. But he, but we trusted. But that we trusted. Read. It had been he which should have redeemed Israel. They thought that Christ was coming to save Israel. The mindset of all nations and God loves everybody was not in the mind of the disciples at all. Understand that. Read that one more time. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. Uh -huh. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Today is the third day since these things have been done. So we pray that you understand who redemption and redeeming is for us, for the nation of Israel. All right. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>